following bar to prove to me that it wants to close below. This may come back up and close up here. I just filter a trade. I didn't go short where it told me to go short. So filtering a trade, even though this was a good entry, you would have entered here, you would still take this all the way down. So now how do we exit the trade on filtering profits, right? Uh, Sam, your question? And how do we know it's not reversal? Well, you have to have specific entries into the market. That's very important. This is a specific entry. So now you, you took it short here because price proved to you. You filtered it out. It proved to you. Take it short. Here is your first example of bar coming back up. This close needs to close lower. It did not close lower. You're out of the market. Okay? This is what we took right here. If you would have filtered. You may say to yourself, wow, not a lot, there's nothing there, or there may be not, you know, uh, I could have got out the low. You could have, should have, would have, but you didn't know where the low was going to be. This gives you the opportunity to still take profit, still be ahead of the game. Okay? It's a conservative way to trade, guys. Now, let's take a look at what happens when price crosses the Atlas line. Well, look at all these buy orders we got. Buy here, buy here. Double bar long means you entered long here. Fine. You go long, crossing the Atlas line. Price came up. If you did not take profit here, it starts coming back down. This occurred. This occurred. You're out. Okay? Again, a bounce right over here on the Australian dollar gave us, just put this here. There, okay. A bounce trade occurred. Not just one, but two of them. We have here touching the Atlas line, hitting support. The Atlas line works very, very well in support and resistance. There you go. It's out of the way here so you could see it a little bit nicer. There we go. These two wicks touched the Atlas line and closed above it, initiating a bounce long trade. Okay, guys? As soon as that occurred, price went up. See that? Now, you want to filter a profit, Sam? That's your concern? Look at that. One, two. Did not close higher. See that second bar, guys, right there? Not. Hopefully you can see that a little bit nicer. Price did not close higher. Look at that. Out. Any questions, guys? This is all today. I'm not showing you, I'm not picking and choosing charts. I'm showing you all the charts that occurred today. Shirley? Um, T-Bonds, your website does not accept email addresses. It, it states that there's an error. You know what, um, T-Bonds, uh, one, two, three, four, I will, the website just went live now, the new website, so give it a couple hours. I'll talk to my webmaster. We'll link it up uh, so we can accept email addresses and um, and you'll be able to uh, grab all the goodies, okay? T-Bonds? No problem. You know, like I said, the uh, I'm not sure if you heard early on, um, during the webinar, the webmaster just put up the new site, okay, which has the Atlas line, which was not there previous, and it has the mentorship program, turnkey operation, which um, it includes the Atlas line and the ATO and the scalping methods. The, the uh, mentorship program includes everything. It's yours to keep. Um, Shirley Owie. Are the bounce trades there before price gets there? Yeah, let me show you how the bounce trades work really quick, okay? Um, I'm saying your name right. Owie, I think it is. So, here we are. You can see here that price is above the Atlas line. Would you, not agree, would you say? Correct? Price came down and touched it. See that? Quick. If the price closes below it, you're going to start getting short orders because now... The trend has reversed. Till price closes below the Atlas line, I'm not taking this short. I want to let price prove to me that it wants to go short. That's the whole concept. It's completely different than what, or any type of method that's out there does not trade like this. It trades following a moving average, or watch how two lines cross, or something along those lines. We're actually waiting for price to pr prove itself. Let price say to yourself, I want to go down. And if it goes down, I'm taking it short. It did not. So as soon as it came, touched it, crossed back up, closed there, we got a short order. Close. As soon as it closes above, that's the short order. Okay? Second, so you're, you're, you're long. The next bar came down, touched it again. 
closed up here, initiated another bounce long. If this bar came down and touched it again and closed back up, that would be another bounce long. So we had two bounces, perfect for going long because it really confirms we have two consecutive trades like that. That's the Australian dollar to go long. So as soon as this bar closes, we are, that's when the order here is generated. And I'll show you. See that? Exact. Got it? Um, www.daytradetowin.com. And actually, if Nate's in the room here, if you can put up here in the website links, and actually I'll do it here. Sorry, it's not. Okay, that is the website address. All right, beautiful, Nate. Good job, Nate. Okay. You know, Ahmed, why I prefer five-minute bars? Great question, Ahmed. Um, why I prefer five-minute bars? You know, if you trade as a day trader like I am, if you're a day trader like I am, and Nate also, if you can uh, find the uh, the links for the filtering videos, I have great a great PowerPoint presentation. They're free, guys. If you're a day trader, you can't trade using 60 minutes or 30 minutes because it will it's too long of a time frame. By the time you are actually confirming a trend, it either has to be one of those huge up days. Um, I'm sorry. Um, it has to be one of those huge days. So we can't use 30 minutes and 60 minutes for me because I want to be in, I want to be out, and I want to be done. I don't want to be hanging around all day for something to set up. Okay. If I go with one minute charts, then it the price will, this is what happens with one minute charts. Uh, Ahmed, this, 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 this. It's very, very difficult to to uh, um, live and die by each one-minute bar because we need to have some type of understanding. Is the market going down or is the market going up? Clearly, here we're going up. Okay. Now, if I put a one-minute chart, you're going to see. You know, this probably will show up. But a five-minute, I like the five-minute because it allows you to stay in the trade long enough for it to do what it's got to do to continue or if it's going to stop us out it doesn't stop us out we have to wait 30 minutes for a huge stop out so it's an actual balance that I like to say it's not too short it's not too long and it reflects price action very nicely all right when you have so many bars I think the objective gets cluttered Ahmed where where we are okay Uh, Sam, can you use? All right, Dominic. Have a good night. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys, in a little bit. Um, Sam, can you please use tick charts since minute charts in the evening has all the dashes. Since volume, um, I and I think since the volume, right? Let me take a look. Since the volumes are are high in the evening, Sam. If you're going to trade the at the open, you have to do it, Sam, uh, during the more. Oh, since the volumes are low. Uh, Yes, I agree. I agree with you. But in the evening, Sam, when the volatility is lower, it's harder to trade because there's less traders in the pool. 